Yes, villagers. Today we're going to be talking about four things that you need to know about cryptocurrency. If you want to find out if your view is expressed in the four, you are in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. Cryptocurrency. We hear so much about it, but what is it really? Well, cryptocurrency is an alternative to our fiat system. It is a way of you having value in money without necessarily going through a bank, having transaction fees or delays of any kind. It's, it's a way of you having your wealth without the third party of a bank. Before we talk about cryptocurrency, we have to talk about the fiat system of money. Once upon a time, we used shells, valuable gems, or other things of value in order for us to buy and trade in a system. The fiat system did away with us using precious gems and shells by us using gold as the standard for purchase. But instead of us carrying around gold coins or bars of gold, we would use dollars to establish how much gold we were actually trading for a good or service. Once the fiat system evolved, we required a bank to tell us how much dollars they were going to give us for the amount of gold that we gave to them. That is currently the system that we are using right now is the fiat system where we have a dollar and a dollar was supposed to represent a dollar's worth of gold that you had in the Federal Reserves. Tip number two, why is cryptocurrency beneficial? Cryptocurrency is beneficial because we now are able to trade goods and services without the use of a third party of a bank. So for example, if something happened and they froze your assets and you wanted to go to a foreign country, you don't have the benefit of your US money because it's frozen in a US bank. So if you were to go to France, you wouldn't have an opportunity to use that money. You wouldn't have any access to it. With cryptocurrency, your money is mobile and is no longer relegated to a bank in the United States or for a government oversight, where if the government decided to freeze your assets, then you could not gain access to that money until whatever investigation was completed. With cryptocurrency, as long as you have your wallet and the blockchain information, you would have access to that money anywhere in the world. Tip number three, what is blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is a ledger system that indicates how much money you have, how much money you spent, and it does so in such a way where a part of it is public and a part of it is private. So the part of it that's public, everyone who had participated in a particular transaction has the same public information. So in the event of any counterfeit, that fraud would be picked up by other people who are also on the ledger. Blockchain technology, it's a complex algorithm that cannot be duplicated. Let's look at blockchain technology almost as the internet. On the internet, you have a public web page, but if you don't have a login information, then you can't get to the private aspects of that individual website. So on the surface, most people can get to the public information and see exactly what has taken place, but they can't see the private information of what is going on inside your actual login account on that very system. Tip number four, is cryptocurrency real money? Well, that's a complex question. Is the money that we have real money? The money that we have in our wallet was originally backed in gold, so it had a particular value. However, as a result of them printing more money, it decreases the value of that money. So while on the surface it says a dollar, if more dollars are printed, it no longer buys you a dollar worth of gold. So money to a large extent is an agreement. The same thing with cryptocurrency. It is also an agreement. So cryptocurrency in short is fiat money that was used to purchase value on a virtual platform 
that can be identified and followed through a ledger system. So for all intents and purposes, it is a real thing. It can be identified. It can be tracked to the point of verification, but not tracked to find out intimate details that only the user would have. Just like anything, there are people who are telling you that you can make a lot of money by purchasing cryptocurrency. Just like with fiat currency, if someone walked up to you and told you, I can give you $10 if you gave me $5, you would want to find out exactly how that is going to happen, how credible is the person, and what is going to happen in the event that things don't turn out as agreed. One thing is for sure, let the buyer beware. Do your research. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Wednesday, please click on that notification bell. You get that ding on your phone and you know that a new video is waiting for you. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you next week. Take care.